Who pays more taxes, a W-2 employee or a 1099 independent contractor? A lot of people tend to be confused about this topic, so let's break it down. In this example, let's say as a W-2 employee, you make $40,000. Well, the taxes on that income would be $6,000. While as a W-2 employee, you have withholdings. So let's say it's $7,000. Well, in this example, you over withheld by $1,000. So that would be your refund of $1,000. Now as a 1099 independent contractor, let's say your income is exactly the same at $40,000. However, you do as a 1099 independent contractor get to write off business expenses. So let's say there are $20,000 in this example, leaving you with a net of $20,000. Now, because the net is lower, you do pay less taxes, which is only $2,000. However, you do have to pay self-employment tax of $3,000, bringing your balance due to $5,000. Now, because there are no withholdings, you actually have to write a check to the IRS for $5,000. It may seem in, like, in this example like you're paying more taxes as a 1099 independent contractor than a W-2 employee. However, if you look at the total income tax, $5,000 versus $6,000 as a W-2 employee, you actually paid more taxes as a W-2 employee versus a 1099 independent contractor, even though you're actually writing a check as a 1099 independent contractor versus getting a refund as an employee.